primary day in Illinois, residents casting their vote. Every American's right. A simple, usually quiet morning. But behind the scenes of the process that shapes public opinion is, well, like organized chaos. You heard the lady. My career used to be in the trading pits of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And then you had a couple of time. And what I just witnessed there was the same chaos that we used to see in the pit. Wow, this is crazy. Anybody hungry? The campaign trail is a daily battle. Staffers shield their candidates from media. Meanwhile, media thrashes each other like horses in a stable, jockeying for position, looking for the best camera angle. All the while, everyone is traveling, crisscrossing states and the country, working 24 hours a day for months at a time. Hi! The cameras, the people, the chaos, being able to have the power to tell someone to back up. Oh, yeah, it's fun. Yes, not to mention running off a plane, catching the campaign bus or rental car, plotting directions, shaking hands, negotiating when, where, who, what, voters listening or almost sleeping at campaign events, political button buggers swarm events. The trail is a perpetual groundhog day. God bless America. Yet it's not, because every day something unexpected almost always happens. Newt Gingrich, he campaigned in Illinois last week, but is not even in the state on primary day, as he is expected to have a weak showing in the polls. But he does have one official campaign office in the state and volunteers pushing for votes. It's, it's physically exhausting, it's mentally exhausting. Uh, just for the week or two that we've been at it here, it, it's, uh, it stretches you to your limits. Uh, but it's also exciting, you get to see things come together, you get to meet groups of people that you didn't get to meet. And perhaps even more important is for voters to actually meet the candidates. Perry Perez arrived pre-dawn at a diner outside Chicago just to shake Mitt Romney's hand. Venues like this are very intimate. You get to touch, you get to hear, oh, and you get to have opportunities to take pictures with candidates and a maturing of the process, which is the American political process. Mitt Romney is looking to take Illinois with an iron fist. There are 54 delegates to add, and he may just get the majority, amping up his status as the unofficial GOP nominee for president. The final primary is in Utah at the end of June. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Chicago.